Let's talk. The expectation of marriages today are not what they were intended to be. Instead of committing to one person to love, we settle for an open relationship. Instead of a marriage with no adultery, we've made arrangements to accept an affair with that special someone or settle for an occasion to indulge in a one night stand. I say all of this to showcase how damaged we are as a people and how leaning to our own understanding has only caused more confusion and pain for us and future generations. Yes, even some believers in Christ have erred. The ones that acknowledge their inability to remarry until their first spouse has died, only to secretly wish their existing spouse dead. One argument after another, this believer will begin to pray inwardly for some catastrophic event to happen to their spouse in hopes of starting anew. Hear me. They are not praying for their spouse to be changed, but rather for their spouse to die. And yes, many think this way. And you'd be amazed what spurred them to think these thoughts. For some, they couldn't apologize. For others, they couldn't accept their spouse's apology. Thus, they remain in conflict. The battle ensues as one spouse attempts to undermine the other's importance within the relationship while defaming their character to family and friends. Is it permissible to pray for a spouse to pass? It's written, if your spouse dies, you can remarry, but your children become motherless or fatherless. Lessons only a mother could teach are possibly gone. Teaching a son how to become a man diminishes. Why can't we apologize and change together for the better?